Hello, everybody. Welcome to another stream from NC State Libraries. Uh, my name is Christy. I'm a librarian um, for engineering, sciences, and biotechnology. And I thought it would be nice to relax today and play Stardew Valley, which is uh, one of my personal favorite games for relaxing, probably that and Animal Crossing. Um, so I already advanced a screen, but I thought I would start a whole new farm. Um, which I haven't done in a really long time. I used to play this game so much when it first came out. And then I put it aside for other things. Alright, I always just do the boring thing and name myself my real name. Um, farm name. Does chat have any suggestions for farm name? Maybe something library related? <laughs> Favorite thing? Uh, well, I'm currently drinking hot chocolate. Uh, the Marshmallow Lovers variety specifically. So I'll put hot chocolate. How can you be out of good library puns? Your name is Librarian Claire. Um, oh, that's a much cooler haircut than I would ever have in real life. I'll do this one, triple buns. I kind of just like the standard farm look. Book drop farm, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really wanna change it from, oh, but that's pretty cute. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll leave the accessories empty. Um, fine with all the presets. And I'm gonna say skip intro because it's kind of long. And I'm guessing most people have seen the intro to Stardew Valley by now. Um, Riverland Farm. Woods limit your farming space. The bounty of the forest is at your doorstep. That sounds pretty nice. Uh, mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Ooh. Plenty of good land here, but at night the monsters come out. I think that the last time I started a new game, I did the wilderness farm. And the monsters weren't too hard. Oh, that's for multiplayer. But maybe I'll mix it up this time and do... I do really like mining. Mining is really fun. I think I'll do the hilltop farm. Stream title is from yesterday. Oh no. Oh, I didn't hit update information. Okay. I just hit update information. Hopefully it should be correct any second now. All right, I think we're good. Ooh, I've never hit the dice before and done something random. Maybe I'll do that next time. Okay. Move. WASD. I, uh, I usually play this on a Switch, so I kind of forget what the... <laughs> What the controls are on PC. I'm playing it on Steam right now. Oh, small crystal. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if that's because I did the the farm with all the mining opportunities. Parsnip seeds. Aw, oh, the mayor's so kind. I wish mayors in real life sent you parsnip seeds. Alright, so let's check out my very messy farm. Uh, I have this, my, the monitor that I'm playing this on is connected to my computer with a USB port because it's kind of janky. Uh, so it's like moving super, not super delayed, a little bit delayed for me. Hopefully it's not moving crazy for you. All right, how to use item. Clicking, of course. Yeah, there's different... I think that it was an update that made uh, different farms available. But it's a nice way to mix it up if you've already played this, or kind of like a reason to revisit the game. Where are my mining... Oh, there they are. My mining deposits. Oh, this is unusable. Wonderful. I'll just go around a different way. This will be fun to clear out. I think in my last save I had gotten 
I don't know if I was a hundred levels deep in the mine, but I was pretty close. So I do really like mining. Okay. I'm just trying to see my beautiful rocks. There's another mine when you finish that one? What? I'll never get that far. <laughs> There are too many good games to play. It's like with books. There are too many good books to read to bring it back to libraries. <laughs> There's just so much choice in the world. I wish I could play every game at once or read every book at once. Here we go. I wonder how often this refreshes. Ooh, and look at all those worms. They probably have clay. That wasn't right. Yes, beautiful clay. I remember that clay was really hard to find in the game. What am I reading these days? I'm on the third book in the Broken Earth trilogy. Um, it's this really great science fiction trilogy uh, by N.K. Jemison, I think is how you say her name. And she was the first black woman to ever win a Hugo Award. And she won it for all three books in the trilogy, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I really like it because it's... Um, different. I've read a whole lot of science fiction and fantasy and it is actually like really unique and it's not a story that I've read before and I think her latest book was about New York City being like a living organism. I don't know I read a blurb so I'm also excited to read that. It is a really good series. Oh you heard an interview with her this morning? What did she? What are all of the interesting and smart things that she said. She just won a genius grant, I think. All right, I'm gonna go into town. Or should I plant my parsnip seeds? I'll plant my par parsnip seeds and then I'll go into town. Oh, finding hope during these times. That's such a nice, I wanna listen to that podcast. <laughs> Open world. Is that the New York, the New York one? Is anybody else reading anything interesting these days? I always love to hear book recommendations. Personally, I read a lot of, like I said, science fiction and fantasy. I think I like the escapism of it all. <laughs> uh, but I also just like any sort of fiction. I'm not a very big nonfiction person. Okay, where to plant parsnips? I guess near my house would be good. So that I can water them easily. Oh, actually, I wonder if there's, if I have a pond or something. Yeah, I can plant them by the river so that I can fill up my watering can. Oh, my inventory's full. Blech. Mysteries as audiobooks. Oh, the podcast is called Open World. I see, I see. The name of the book is The City We Became. That makes sense for a book about a city becoming something. Uh, I've, I've tried to read audiobooks, but I just can't quite get into them. Do you like use, um, what's it called? Audible? The thing that they advertise on like every podcast? <laughs> And do you have a favorite mystery author? I really like Tana French. I'm forgetting which tools do what. How's my energy level? It's still pretty high. Oh, you check them out from the library. Yeah, I I think that I looked into Audible once and then it was like you you get one free book a month, right? But then you still have to buy audiobooks. And I didn't want to buy audiobooks. I mostly read books on my Kindle. And I know that you can check out Kindle books from um, our library too. You can like do a search on the website and then filter by Kindle books. I'm not facing the right direction. Um, 
I haven't checked any out, but I saw that there was, we have some good fiction available as Kindle books. Public library has a good app. So I moved here in February. Um, very excited to explore Raleigh and then everything shut down. <laughs> so things like getting a library card up at the public library, I actually haven't done yet. <laughs> My husband and I, uh, we're pretty strict about social distancing. So I haven't, we don't leave the house much. Mostly just to see family. Oh, I didn't realize that our popular reading was just through Kindle. Yeah, no, I was, I was uh, surprised, pleasantly surprised when I was looking through our Kindle books and um, saw how great they were. I actually kind of forgot about them until right now, so I'm going to need to check that out after the stream. Oh, I didn't realize that you could get a, a virtual public library card. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, what should I do with my inventory? I guess go put it back in my box and then plant the parsnip seed. Does that make sense? Oh, I wish I could get rid of this giant trunk. It's annoying. Can I get rid of that? Oh, I don't have the right tool selected. Ugh. This used to come so naturally back when I was playing this every day. Go on. What's the problem? Why won't you? Okay. Is that just laying on the ground? Oh, it is. <laughs> I could have walked through it this whole time. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know I could put things in there to sell. I think I'm gonna... Oh no, I don't know how to use my door. Uh, open. Right click, right click to use the door. Oh, I don't even have a chest yet. Okay. Can I build a chest? I need 50 wood. I don't have any wood. That's because all my wood is on the ground. Okay. Can I drop this? Yes. But how? Welcome to the stream where I figure out which buttons to press, which is basically just the story of me playing any video game. Is it 50? 48? Oh, come on. I don't have any energy left. Well, maybe I've done enough work for one day. Oh, if you right click on a tree, you can shake it. It's a little pro gaming tip. So other than uh, virtual library cards, how have y'all been um, keeping busy during quarantine? Oh, I am going to pass out. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> this is a good uh, life lesson about how you should not overwork yourself. If you see that there's one more tree to cut down, but you're tired, just go to bed. Just that tree will be there in the morning. Let's all remember to take it easy. Okay, yes. Get my energy back. I'll take a sip of my hot chocolate. All right. Oh, and I have mail. I keep finding cool stuff. My backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Pierre's got you covered. Check out our affordable size 24 backpack. Well, Pierre, I only have 500. 
gold. I don't think that'll do it. Got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Sounds a little ominous. It does sound a little like an infomercial. Ugh. All my hard work building the... Oh, I have 51. Okay, I'm gonna build a chest. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna build a chest to put all of my treasures in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Okay, close. Oh, I see. It won't let me close until I throw something out. I wonder if the rusty spear I'm supposed to, yeah, donate it to the museum. I'm just going to throw out this one piece of wood. There's plenty more where that came from. My beautiful new chest. Uh, put in, put in box. Oh, I see. Maybe I will make a special trip to the museum to donate this rusty spear before I get into my hard work day. I don't know Willie yet. So a, a man I don't know sent me a letter saying, I have something for you. I would not respond to that man. Just gotta say, where's the museum? This way, this way I think. Were y'all part of the um, Animal Crossing uh, craze a couple of months ago? Is that the museum? Yes. I gotta say, this man is kind of a fashion icon. I mean, look at that. Do you think that's a denim cowboy hat? crossing stream yesterday if my if I could figure out how to connect my switch and my monitors with only one HDMI port I could do Animal Crossing too <laughs> if you hear a strange howling sound in the background that's my cat um, Chester he has a lot of feelings and he likes to walk around the house wailing. Like at night, I think he's a little bit afraid of the dark. He walks around the house like a ghost, just wailing. He's kind of an old man. I didn't read anything that that man just said to me. You know what, I think, I know you mean he gets lonely as a joke, but I think he does get lonely. I think at night when we're sleeping, he misses us, and then he just walks around crying. Okay, here, sir. Do I need to, no. Do I right click on you? Donate to museum. Oh, but where to put it? Where to put the rusty spear? Gosh, there are so many items. I have never found. I don't know. Not even half. Old Animal Crossing. Yeah, Animal Crossing has come a long way. I think the animals used to be kind of sassier too. <laughs> Funny, I remember getting really excited for, what's this one called? This one's not called, this one's called New Horizons, right? Hello, little boy. Talk, talk, talk to me. <laughs> How do I talk to you? Okay. I 
am an okay stranger. But how could you possibly know that? Um, I remember getting really excited when New Leaf came out and thinking like, how could they possibly improve it? But they did. There's Marnie's house. I can buy hay from her. Oh, I should build a silo. If you build a silo, when you cut down the grass, it turns it into hay automatically. To feed your chickens. Chickens eat hay. I think they do eat hay in this game. All right, time to plant my parsnips. If I don't get too tired on the way there. I feel good about the spot for farming, although it looks a little bit random right now. I think it's gonna be a beauty. Parsnips, might need to make a bigger plot. Why can't I plant? Oh, I'm too far away. <laughs> I don't uh, play Steam very often. I prefer to play my Switch because then I can sit on my couch instead of sitting on the computer. So I forget things like just basic controls. <laughs> mad at Laura the animals the viewers my uh, my husband has been playing Animal Crossing every day since it came out and he says that he's gonna keep playing it every single day until he gets the achievement for playing it 300 days in a row I think is pretty impressive but also he was unemployed for a while so he kind of had an advantage on getting that achievement okay I've planted my parsnips I'm ready to be a farmer so I could clear out more land I could go to Gunther's shop but I don't have any money how to get money probably fishing right so I should go see Willie I know if you, well, I wasn't looking at the screen. If you, uh, God forbid, have a life and you don't go to the island for a while, they guilt trip you so hard. And then weeds grow. And I think, I don't know how it works in the new game, but I think that, um, ooh, a lost book. An excuse to go back to the library. Um,. Yeah, the Guild Tribune, and on the old games, your villagers would move away if you didn't visit often enough. But I don't know if they kept that up in the new games or not. I've got enough energy for some fishing. Hello. Okay. Guess I expected more of a conversation from Sam, but that's okay. We'll build our friendship slowly over time. I'll win him over. Wow. Willie has the perfect setup for uh, social distancing. For you, Willie. Cool, I got an old rod. Oh, a bamboo pole. What's old rod? Is that Pokemon? <laughs> fishing is really hard to get the hang of. I think this is the most difficult time I've had in any game with fishing. It's much easier in Animal Crossing. Okay. 
Oh, do we have to finish the cutscene first? I thought it was my turn. I hope I don't catch a magic carp. They're useless. Just flop around. Let's see if I remember how. I think a lot of clicking. Did he tell me how and I wasn't paying attention? Yeah, clicking. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is not even a difficult fish. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 I guess it's a lot of little clicks instead of long clicks. Oh my god. Guys, I don't think I have a future as a fisher. As a fisherwoman. I think I better stick to being a librarian. Sunfish! I wonder if it's valuable. I deserve that. Isn't this peaceful? I've always wanted to fish in real life, but I don't want to hurt the fish. I think I just want to sit by a lake. Oh, okay. Maybe this isn't my destiny. Maybe this isn't how I'm going to earn money in Stardew Valley. Or, uh, what is it? Book drop farm. Okay. Broken glasses. I wonder if I should buy a new pole. No, I should buy a backpack. Am I getting better? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fair. I'll try a couple more times since I still have some energy. and I lost it. Ugh. Come on. I want to catch one more fish. I need to make some money. And I know that the parsnips aren't going to bring in the cash. The other game that I uh, play on PC a lot is Slime Rancher. I don't know if anybody is familiar with Slime Rancher, but it is also a farming game, <laughs> like farming and exploration. But what you're farming is uh, slimes. And they hop around and they uh, eat each other sometimes. And I love it. It's the perfect game. I think I like chill games like this. Although the game that I play the most is Monster Hunter. And that is not very chill. Oh no, I'm exhausted. Ugh. I need to pay more attention to my energy level. Ooh. Oh, this is probably like glasses or a tin can or something. Oh no. You know what? I think this is harder with a mouse than it is on a controller. I think the fault lies in my tools and not myself. Right, everybody? 
Did you play Monster Hunter on PlayStation slash all the other platforms it was on? Did you play Monster Hunter World or did you play Monster Hunter any of the other ones? I play the um, like old school Monster Hunter games, so mostly Monster Hunter Generations on Switch. I did play a little bit of World, probably like 60 hours, so I guess not a little bit. But um, I think I've got like 300 hours on the one on Switch because that is the one that I prefer. It's really great to find games that are cooperative. Um, that's my favorite in both tabletop and video games. I really like when they can be social because with Monster Hunter, I'm always playing with people. World Iceborn. Oh, that's the expansion. World was cool. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I have bad eyes. <laughs> and when I play it on the TV, the UI for a lot of games is just hard for me to see. So... Another problem with Witcher 2, I just tried to pick Witcher 3 back up, but the screen is so hard to see and they don't have any features that make it, that you can use to make the font bigger. So I'm like playing and squinting. I don't know. It's definitely a me problem. I'm getting new glasses. Maybe that's the problem. It's surprising to me though that modern games if anybody is here and uh, is becoming a video game designer, please give an option to have bigger font and bigger uh, UI in general in video games. I don't understand why it's always so small. New classes is my favorite time of year too. And I always get new frames. Well, like every three years, <laughs> I get new frames. And it's so much fun to change up your whole look with just glasses. I'm going, so I have like tortoise shell and I'm going nearly transparent, but very light brown, I guess. Just like slightly not clear, but almost clear. I don't know where I'm going. Why did I need to look at that? Closed on Wednesdays. Ugh, typical small town. Whenever you visit small towns, things are always closed on random days of the year. What can I do today? Are the mines open yet? I know I can get money from the mines. Let's go see. Warby Parker, no. Uh, I actually went in person. Um, and if I may complain for a second, I went to the eye doctor and they dilated my eyes without warning me. <laughs> I'm used to it being like, first they numb your eyes and then they like tell you all about how dilating your eyes works. And, uh, then they like give you a little fake plastic pair of sunglasses. I'm going the wrong way to get home with because you're sensitive to light but they were just they just put drops in my eyes and they didn't tell me what they were and then when i was leaving i was like why is my vision so blurry and i looked in the mirror and my eyes were dilated i think they should have told me that they were doing that yes to a real store to oh man i want to go to there can i talk to him can i go up the other way i don't think i can isn't it just like you wake up one day and there's a boom and then it's open to you? It was rude. It was rude to dilate my eyes. If that's what you were referring to. And I couldn't do work for a little bit when I got home because I couldn't see anything.
but yeah, I feel bad. I felt bad trying on glasses because in COVID times, when you try on glasses, they have to like sanitize every pair that you try on. So normally I would try on like 20 different pairs, but I tried to keep the number small <laughs> so that the poor employees didn't have to sanitize a thousand different pairs of glasses. <laughs> Can I go here? It's locked. Okay. I feel like the world is closed to me today. I could try fishing, but I'm so bad at it. Um, I guess I could clear out my farm. I don't really want to make friends. Because I don't want to read dialogue. Because I'm lazy. I'll just clear some farmland until I get tired. Maybe call it an early night. Go talk to Robin. Okay. I will do that. Oh, did y'all hear that creepy music? Unless that was happening in real life. Is that another bridge that I can't use? Why is half my farm unusable? Maybe the game knows that it's October, and so it's adding in creepy sounds. Does anybody have any fun Halloween plans? We are having, um, there's a personal librarian program for um, freshmen. So if anybody is here who is a freshman, you have a personal librarian, you've gotten emails from them. Um, and we're having a trivia event for the College of Engineering freshmen the day before Halloween. The day before Halloween? I don't know, the Friday before Halloween. At noon. That should be fun. I believe they win Grubhub gift certificates. And everybody loves trivia, right? Hey, heater, milk pail. Oh, this isn't Robin, this is Marnie. We're to the wrong person. Okay, off to see Robin. Ooh, your trivia is tomorrow. You'll have to tell me how it goes. <laughs> Any hot tips you have for how to put on the most fun Zoom trivia possible. I really enjoy trivia. I, on road trips, I like to make people, <laughs> nobody's ever gonna go on a road trip with me. I like to make people ask me trivia <laughs> and uh, riddles. I like riddles. How do I get to Robin's? <laughs> Over this way, right? It is pretty entertaining, I think. Entertaining for me. I don't know if it's entertaining for the person that I'm telling to uh, look up trivia. Have you met everyone in town yet? No. Am I supposed to? I am supposed to, aren't I? It's like a little achievement. I don't care about you, Demetrius. Maru. I think I married Maru the first time. Oh no. They've trapped me. <laughs> what do I do? Okay. <laughs> what can I do for you? Upgrade house. 10,000 gold. <laughs> I would be... Hi, I'm Christy. Local librarian and cat parent. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not interested at this time, thank you. I'm gonna go talk to Maru, my ex. Okay.
This is a pretty cool hangout. I would not mind if this was my room. But I did think that that was the front door. Well, I've accomplished very little today. That's okay. Time enjoyed wasting. It's not time wasted. Let's see if I can do it. Are there even fish in the river? Let me throw it farther. I don't know if there are fish in the river. I give up. There are? How long must one wait? Okay. I'm gonna try again. Oh, a person to meet. Oh, well, that's right. He has a drinking problem. He's the bad boy. These fish just aren't biting. Maybe there's less fish in the rain? Hello, meet me. Oh, I already met you. Meet me, meet me, where are you going? He's the bad boy. Look at his haircut. I don't know how old I am in this game because he just called me a new girl. And I feel like he should have called me the new woman. What's your quest? Like in life? That's a big question. Um my personal quest is to catch a fish and the quest in the game uh, and the quest in the game that I'm supposed to be working on is meeting people my quest is kind of to, just to do something productive today because it's 7 30 p.m okay I guess fish don't bite in the rain I've ever been this naturally bad at something before. And I've played this game. I have no excuse to be this bad at fishing. Oh, an exclamation point. Oh. Aha. Meet people. That'll get me money, I think, right? When you complete quests, you get money? If you want to become a farmer, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Working on it. Archaeology. Okay. 250. Getting closer to getting that backpack. My cats, um, we have an automatic feeder bowl for uh, when we go away, but now we just use it all the time. So it feeds them automatically at. 8.30 a.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. And they all gather around it around like 2 p.m. <laughs> and then they just sit there until 4 when they get fed. So I just looked over and they're all just sitting around this feeder bowl waiting. <gasps> That's a real fish! Oh my god! It was like the smallest, easiest fish to catch, but you know... Baby steps. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I was never going to catch that. Is that spooky sound again? I wonder if I somehow started a haunted game. Maybe it's the ghost of my former characters.
Is anybody watching uh, Bly Manor? We just finished it last night and it was much more emotional than you would think a, a ghost show would be. It's very good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I think it was a little, um, I don't think it was as strong as the first one because it got a little melodramatic at times, but I really liked it. Um, the first one being Hill House. But it was a good October watch. We've also been watching scary movies here and there. Um, Poltergeist, which I really like. And uh, we watched Blair Witch this weekend, which the first time I watched it scared me for weeks. <laughs> I think it's a it's a scary movie for people who like have spent time in the woods or have grown up in the woods or go camping. Uh, but the second time we watched it, I was mostly just annoyed at them, at the characters. So not as scary the second watch. Trash. I'm gonna put the trash in the trash. Try to catch a second fish. Trying to think about if we've seen any other scary movies lately, but I think that might be it. I'd like to watch Beetlejuice before Halloween because I really like Michael Keaton. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> okay, it's nearly midnight and I don't think my fishing is improving. So I'm just going to give up and go home. Just a spooky route through the cemetery. They should have a ghost like Animal Crossing does. Or if you're out late at night near the cemetery, a ghost makes you collect things. Collect things. I actually don't know what happens if I stay out too late. I've never, I've never done that before. I'm not a risky person. Actually, let me drop off the one fish that I caught. And that's it. That's all I accomplished today. Caught one fish. Very bad at working this chest. Use chest. I don't understand. Okay, I'll figure it out tomorrow. When ghosts aren't howling at me. When someone from town returns you and usually charges you an arm and a leg. Oh. Was I too sleepy to open the box? Is that what was happening? Or am I too sleepy in real life to figure out how to open the box? <laughs> open. What? That's the same button I've been hitting. Something's going on here with this box. Uh, okay, it's 6.20. I'm gonna water my plants. Probably by the end of this day. It'll be three o'clock and our stream will be done. Um, I'm gonna water my plants and then I'm gonna bring this geode to get examined. But I think that the geode man doesn't start work until like 10. These parsnips, they're gonna be my fortune. I like the watering can upgrade that you get. That'll water three at once. No. All 
All right, parsnips watered. And it is 7.50. It's still too early, I think. So, clear some land. Chop down some trees. I did swing the axe at the ground a couple of times. Uh, we don't gotta focus on that. I hate when you knock down a tree and all the wood just falls into the river. There. It's starting to look more like a real farm. Ooh, and I got mixed seeds. It could be anything. Cool. All right. I'm gonna go drop off this geode. I like the rock man. He doesn't say a lot, but a kinship with him as a former child who had a rock collection. <laughs> I lived in uh, mostly in Virginia growing up, but oh, I watered the bulletin board. How do I read this? There we go. I would accept this quest, but I know I'm not going to do it. that? No. Um, anyway, I lived mostly in Virginia growing up, but we did uh, live in Nevada for a year, and I feel like my rock collection really hit its stride in Nevada. A lot of good rocks there. Oh, rock man. Geodes are always so exciting. Do I, don't I give it to you? Process geodes, there we go. Ooh, slate. Is it, uh, Gunther can tell, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, are you supposed to donate rocks to the museum? And you are, and I will, because I support Museums and libraries. Okay. Sir, interact with me. Donate to the museum. Don't I have a library book too? Does that automatically get returned? Does that automatically get returned and that's what that is? are missing books. Uh, did I keep the library book? It automatically got returned, right? I didn't just steal the library book. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You'd think that Gunther would be like, hi, let me give you a tour. Welcome to the museum. We have some interesting programming going on later in the week. He only cares about those donors. Talk to me. It's got some pretty great hair. A lot of good hair in this game. Leah has good hair too. She has this like beautiful Katniss Everdeen braid. Where's Leah live? Here? I like how you just walk into people's houses in this game. Talk to me. Aw, Emily's so nice. So clearly, Leah doesn't live here because Emily lives here. Mm, 
Jody also has a braid, but it's not as good. Can I walk into this man's room? No. Anybody else here I need to meet? Doesn't look like it. Does Leo live like in the woods? Oh, right here, right? Leah's friends. Aha, I found her house. So that's something. Um, what is my goal right now? Well, it's nearly three, so maybe I'll just do a couple things and then call it a stream. Like pick this, wild horseradish. And then put it in my box to sell. Oh, if I can get home. I really need to clear a path to and from my house. That would be helpful. Baby parsnips, doing well. Here we go. Mm. I'll just store everything else. Store it for later. Put in box. Oh my gosh. This chest is gonna be the death of me. Okay. I think that's about, that's about it. I wonder if I should do something with that rock. I wonder if I should donate it to the museum. Day four of spring, accomplished very little. I feel like I could have so much more money by now if I could master fishing, but it's very elusive. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Um, and uh, thanks for sticking it out with me, even though I'm not great at catching fish. Uh, I could feel your support through the, through the screen. Um, and yeah, remember to come to the library if you need help with anything. And I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Bye.